Okay, so this is a, a solution for the exercise 7.2D of the book Something of Population by uh, Flavian Lameshaw. Uh, and the exercise uses this uh, data set exercise 7.csv uh, that, that contains a random sample of 33 families from a community of out of uh, 600 families. Um, we want to estimate uh, the total weekly medical expenses paid by the community. Okay, uh, another important uh, uh, data information is that the, com the total community has 2,700 uh, individuals. So I'm going to start by uh, just reading the data set. Just data. Um, clear everything I've imported. Let's open here. The data set, as you see, as you can see, you have family ID, family size. Um, so we have 33 families out of uh, 600 in the community and the family size um, out of the 2,700 individuals. And then we have the income that we're not going to use for this exercise um, and medical expenses, which is the variable of interest. Okay. So, um, Again, we want to estimate uh, the total weekly medical expenses paid by, paid by the community. So we could start by just obtaining the usual estimator for the total medical expenses. So basically summing over the entire sample and then inflating by uh, uh, the, the, the weight uh, of the sample. So we have 600 total families, capital N, and we have a sample of 33. Okay, and we would obtain a total estimate of the $32,625. Okay, so this is the usual estimator uh, using the, the, the weight or the inflation uh, that you should be able to, uh, to reproduce. Uh, I'm going to do it quickly in, on Stata. Um, first of all, I'm going to generate the, the variable n with... Um, uh, the total number of families, capital N, the weights, the variable that we're going to represent the weight, that's going to be 600, 600 divided by 33. Okay, so, so this is the weight of for um, each family. Um, and I'm going to set the survey design. So again, this is just a random sample with the weights, and then uh, we're going to add a correction, a finite population correction with total sample. Okay, so now Stata knows that this is survey data, and I'm going to uh, compute uh, the total of medical expenses using the inflation estimator. So just basically asking for the total of medical expenses, and as you can see, we uh, obtained the um, uh, the value 32,625 or if you prefer to do the formula uh, you get exactly the same thing okay so um, this should be straightforward now we're going to use the ratio estimator to try to improve uh, the, the this estimator of the total um, um, total expenses in the community and I'm going uh, so there's several ways of motivating uh, the, the ratio and why it's useful. I'm going to, to tell you the one that I think is more intuitive. Okay, We have another variable, which is the size of the family. Um, so if you go to the data set again, we have this variable here, which is the, the family size. Um, this could provide us an estimate for the total size of the community. If you think that this is that we have a random sample of uh, families, and I have the, the total size for each family. If I sum uh, all these um, individuals and then inflate them, I, I will have uh, an estimate of the population size. But I know that the population size is 2,700. Okay, but let's do it anyways. So I'm going again to use just the usual um, uh, uh, estimator for the total of the, the, the family size. Okay, um, so again, my capital N is 600 families. I've sampled 33, and the Y is going to be 
sorry, and the uh, little y is going to be the, the, the size of each family, okay? So, and if I do this calculation, I have to obtain 2,236, okay? Again, I could have done this in uh, uh, on Stata uh, just by writing SVI total fam underscore size. And um, I get exactly the same value of 2,236, okay? So again, this is the, the inflation estimator for the total. Now, how do we use the ratio estimator? Well, um, this estimate for the total size of the population, it underestimated the, the, the total of the population, right? Because we know that the total of population, the total number of individuals is 2,700. And the estimate that you get to the sample is, in this case, lower, okay, by a factor of 1.20. So it's 20% lower than the, the true estimator. So we can use this ratio with, as a correction factor to other estimators, okay? Why? Because, again, we know the, uh, the true value for uh, an estimate uh, that we obtained from the sample. And we're going to use this information to try to adjust um, uh, other estimates, in particular the other estimate that we are interested in, which is uh, the estimate for the total of medical expenses in community, okay? So I'm going to create a new estimator based on the previous one of the total medical expenses and now adjusting it, correcting it by this factor that is the, the sort of a correction factor uh, for a variable for which I know the true value and I get an estimate from the sample, okay? And uh, this should, in principle, give me a better estimate, especially if X and Y are correlated, which is the case because the, the larger the family, the larger the, the expenses, the medical expenses, just because there's more people in the family, okay? It doesn't have to be a perfect correlation, but the stronger the correlation, the more information I can borrow from one place to the other. So I think this is an elegant way of seeing of seeing how, why the ratio estimator uses, um, uh, why the ratio estimator is useful, because Again, it uses this sort of adjustment um, for uh, a correction factor based on some data, some other data that you have in the sample. Okay, so I'm going to finally do uh, this on Stata. I'll have to just do a small trick because if I let me come back to the formula, so I basically have to multiply this um, x prime by 2,700, uh, okay, and then get the total for this one. So I'll do this directly in the data set. So I'm going to generate a new variable for medical expenses. Um, and I multiply this by 2,700. I could have done this at the end. It doesn't matter, really. And, and now I'm going to ask Stata to give me the ratio estimator of this um, new variable, medical expenses for families per family size, okay? And this should give exactly the same quantity that we have obtained uh, in the calculation method, 39, 389, 27, 39, 389. Point. Well, there's a small difference, but it's just due to rounding. Stata is using more precise, more precise values, okay? Um, so I hope this helped explaining uh, the exercise.